Hello, it's that time of the month again. Time for another end of month bot haul. Now, this month it's been uh, quite a lean month for buying bots, so I haven't managed to pick many up. Um, I have been trying to save some money because uh, previous month I uh, spent a lot of money on bots and then I had that, uh, got hit by that whammy of having to do that expensive repair on my car. So this month I was trying to save some money, so I haven't bought as many bots as probably would have normally but I've still managed to spend a fair amount of money and not just on transformers okay so let's get started first bot purchase and it's actually the first and the last it's the first bot I bought this month and the last bot that I have bought of Tom Owen yes it's the last bot I've bought from Mr Tom Owen who was selling his collection uh, I had one look, last look at his list and uh, said, oh, I actually quite, quite like one of those. And I'd actually said to him the previous month that I, I wanted this toy, even though at the time I'd spent too much money on uh, other things to, to be able to afford it. So now, beginning of the month, I had a bit of overtime mon money. I said, right, I am buying that toy. And it is G1 Optimus Prime, the Takara, the, you know, the Takara reissue, the Encore one. I thought, well, you can't really call yourself a Transformers collector, a serious Transformers collector, unless you've got a G1 Optimus Prime. And just look at this thing. It is magnificent. It is just absolutely mint. And it came with a box with all the bits in it. A bit dusty, but apart from that, absolutely immaculate. No. Japanese box, covered in kanji, marvellous. The complete set, you know, the trailer's all there, roller, the, the, the absolute, absolute works. 50 quid. Couldn't whinge at that. I mean, I've been to toy fairs and I've, I've seen the original ones going for like, you know, 60, 70, 80 quid for just for the original ones. So 50 quid for a mint boxed one, even if it's the Japanese Encore. It's a no-brainer. I just had to get it. So that was my first purchase of the month. Let's put this one over here. Like so. Uh, right, okay. Then uh, it was... That was Wednesday the 1st of April. Uh, on Monday the 6th of April, the bank holiday Monday, I went to Stonely Car Boot Sale. Um, Stonely Car Boot Sale... The dates have been a bit hit and miss this year. Uh, I've not been able to go to, to many because they've been clashing with my working weekends up at Bury. But I was able to go to this one. Now, uh, I went, actually I went round the car boot sale two days on the trot. I went on the Sunday and the bank holiday Monday. On the Sunday, I saw a few things, but they didn't really take my fancy. So I didn't buy anything then. So I went around again on the Monday and there's a few now, this, this is the irony, right? Um, on the Sunday, the place was absolutely packed, right? On the on the Sunday, regular Sunday, the place was absolutely heaving. All the cow sheds were full, the exhibition halls were full, and they even had people in the in this sort of the concreted area in between. On the Monday, weather wasn't quite so good. Cattle sheds were empty, there was a couple of sellers outside, and they were they were just inside the exhibition hall. So it was like not even half the size as it was on the Sunday, and I just couldn't get my head around that. Anyway, went around, and I found this woman who had a like a plastic box full of Transformers in bits and pieces and a few other things, and I was having a route through, and I found this guy. Now, he's a, a Legends figure. I had to do some uh, research on him when I got home, and it is uh, Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse Legion, Flak. And uh, he was one of the f the only bots in this box that was actually complete. Had all his all his bits, all his arms and legs. So that was the reason why I bought him. And he's quite a nifty little uh, little fella. I quite like the the gun turret, which is uh, quite cool. Anyway, he's got a pretty uh, straightforward uh, transformation. Little APC, little wheeled armoured personnel carrier. I like the thing with the turret. The gun flips over and then it twizzles round to form 
the gun on his on his shoulder in bot mode, and then it turns round. It's, it's on like an, an off-centre pivot, and it's uh, cannon in vehicle mode. It's very clever. Um, he was only ten pence, so ain't complaining about that. Then I went to another store that I'd seen on the uh, on the Sunday, and I'd uh, seen this particular bot on this stall on the Sunday, and I'd picked it up and had a quick play with it, and then I didn't quite suss out the transformation. It was a knockoff bot, and I was playing with it, and I thought, uh, no, I ain't going to bother with that. Anyway, fast forward 24 hours, went round on the uh, the Monday, same bloke was there, same toy on the stall. But before I bought that, I bought something else. Now. I'm having to pad this um, this video out a little bit with some other things that I bought. And at this car boot sale, I saw something that, oh god, I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. It is this. This, my friends, is a Rough Rider. Now, back in the 1980s, there was two companies that produced these little battery-powered 4x4 vehicles. The uh, Rough Riders were licensed or, or were, were sold in the UK by Matchbox and this is one of them. Now I bought it and I thought I'm gonna see if I can oh, I, I, I love this thing and it's it's got the it's got the little the little gear stick on the top even though the knob's missing. A lot of chrome wear on the, the bit on the back but apart from that it's intact. It's uh, it's got nice rolly wheels and uh, just get the body off so you can have a look inside it. Shut up. And there you go. You see, it takes a single AA battery. It's got a little motor in the middle, and it's actually got working lights. Now I got it home and I put a battery in, and it didn't work. So I took it all apart, cleaned all the contacts, put a little bit of lubrication on a few bits, and uh, lo and behold, it now works. And you see, it's uh, got two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Great little thing. Got the little lever on the top, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and it's got working lights. Fantastic little things. But I didn't used to get these ones when I was a kid. When I was a kid, there was another brand called Stompers, which I've done a, recently done a bit of research in from, made by a company called Shaper. And they were very similar to this, similar sort of size, only they had foam tyres on. And they came in a variety of different different um, body styles, you know, like Jeeps and Subaru Brats and uh, Jeep Cherokees, um, Chevy Blazers, stuff like that. And they were great, but the tyres, the, the foam tyres that they used to come with, they weren't very durable. They used to tear and they used to get wet and they used to rot and fall apart. And, but I, I used to love them things. There was a shop around the corner that used to sell them. I used to pick them up for a couple of quid and they were brilliant. And uh, I'd uh, love to get another uh, another um, stomper. Unfortunately, uh, believe it or not, these things tend to go for quite a lot of money on uh, eBay these days. So, future investment perhaps. But anyway, that was something I picked up at this stall. But the real thing I picked up at this particular guy's stall was uh, this thing. I've just got to transform it back from uh, its... Transform it into its alt mode, I think. We'll, we'll start out, just give me a second. It's this. Now, <laughs> like I said, I saw this on the Sunday and I didn't pick it up. But then I saw it again on the Saturday, had another play with it and figured out how to do the transformation properly. And I thought, oh, yeah. And I thought, well, it's a knockoff of G2 Megatron, but it's it's smaller. It's about 50% smaller than the real G2 Megatron. And the transformation is quite simplistic on it. You um, pull the legs out, flip out the feet, like so. Fold that. Bring out the arms, t twist them round, bring out the fists. 
you then move the cannon sideways and then flip up the head. And there you have him. I love this thing. This thing's amazing. And <laughs> the thing that makes me laugh about it is this. <laughs> it's got a working mouth <laughs> and it's actually got a moulded tongue inside. <laughs> it's like... It's a fantastic little thing. And for a knockoff, I mean, I occasionally buy knockoffs at car boot sales, but they've got to have some redeeming features. They've got to have something about them that sets them apart from the usual tat that you find at car boot sales. And this guy, start off with, he's made of a decent quality plastic. I mean, I've been playing with him quite a lot, so some of the joints are starting to loosen up, but actually he's, he's made of a, a nice sturdy plastic. He's got some decent paint apps. I mean, he's got all this metallic green on here. And he's got the, the, the camo scheme in his uh, tank mode, which is quite good. Um, the moulding detail is a bit simplistic on it. You know, like the wheels on the side for the, the, the tank tracks are just plain discs and very, you know, crude treads. But there's another thing on this guy. He's quite articulated. Um, he's got shoulder joints. He's got, uh, he's got a bicep swivel got a elbow joint that's on a ratchet. Now the feet are one solid block and they transform differently from G2 Megatron but get this, he's got a waist swivel. He's got a flipping waist swivel and he doesn't even need one for transformation. Why has he got a waist swivel? I just, just, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. It doesn't need one and yet it's got one. It's that and the the stupid bloody flappy jaw thing on the front on the lower glacis of the front of the tank. It just, oh, I just had to get this guy. Uh, I bought him with this guy from the same bloke. This was thirty pence, and he he, he wanted two pound fifty for this, but I didn't quite have the right change, so he he did me the two for two pound fifty. So this guy cost me two pound twenty. Bargain. Um, Absolutely love this guy. He's fantastic, and I like him so much. He's going on my uh, TF15 and 2015 list. So yeah, loving him. Okay, that was the car boot sale. Uh, what next? Right now, going on to other matters. On Monday, the 20th of April. This thing arrived. Now, <laughs> impulse buy on my part. I, I knew this thing was coming out, and uh, as some of you, some of you may know, um, I am also a ready control car collector, or, or I was in the past. I used to be a raving mad RC car collector, and I used to collect. I, I've got well, let's put it this way: I've got 170 things like this in my collection, um, but. If I have enough money available, then I'm getting into buying RC cars again. Not so many. Anyway, bought this, and the other day I built it. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Now, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look, you know, uh, hang on. It's supposed to look like that. Right? It's supposed to look like that. This is the white limited edition and it's all white. Even the sh everything on it is white. White plastic on all the chassis parts, gearbox. The only things that aren't white are the tyres and the decals. Everything else is white. It is absolutely amazing. Needless to say, I will never be running this. I've just built it as a shelf queen, as a display piece. Uh, it took me about four hours to build the chassis. I mean, I'll just show you the chassis quick. There you go, that's the chassis. I'll put a steering servo in it. And uh, the, I haven't put any oil in the oil shocks, they've just been assembled dry. 
got working ball differentials front and rear comes with a uh, Tamiya torque tuned motor which is a slightly hotter motor than what, the, what you normally get and uh, yeah so £129 and it was my mate Richard um, who lives over in uh, Coventry who's, who's another you know, RC collector of, uh, I've known for many years he uh, rang me up um, was it the Sunday night? No, it wasn't the Sunday. He rang, no, I think it was the Thursday. The Thursday evening, he rang me up and he says, "Ah, oh, the uh, Dark Impact White Edition's out." So I went onto Model Sports UK while I was on the phone and bought it there and then. Buy it now, 129 quid. Mwah, beauty. Look at it. <laughs> anyway, back to our normal scheduled uh, programming. Ah. Uh, yeah, I had to pad this video out with some other things because <laughs> I've only got nine bots this month. Uh, yeah, so bot number four, Thursday the 20 23rd of April. Um, Pre-order from Kapow Toys arrived. Uh, you've already seen the reviews of these guys because I, I, I just had to review them as soon as they came in. Toy World TW T05 Shinebug. Now, I've, um, in my review, I was whinging about things not clipping in properly but I've managed to figure out how to get the back piece to clip in properly and I've figured out how to attach the front piece properly and also thanks to I think it was Bolt Matrix I figured I sussed out that you can actually these wheels are on sort of rotational joints where you can rotate them round so that they fill in the insides of the arms so all the little niggles that I had with this guy apart from that which is loose which i probably have to take his foot apart to do something about all the little transformation niggles i had of him have, have all been cured so i am really really digging this guy and yes i've transformed the legs properly yes they are on those sliding pin joints you're supposed to slide them down and clip them into the back of his legs not leave them stood up behind his knees yes yeah so yeah loving this guy brilliant and on the same day, his uh, big brother arrived. Side load. This guy has got a really fussy transformation, especially around the top half. These bits on his arms, which on little board joints, they keep popping off. And then this, this backpack thing doesn't want to clip in properly. But apart from that, he's a big mother hubbard. He's, you know, poor nigh on ultra scale bot and he's so butch and hench I absolutely love the look this guy has got he just looks amazing and you know paint him blue and white and call him breakdown from prime he's got that look about him somebody was what was somebody else saying he looks like he looks like oh, no, anyway never mind yeah I'm loving this guy he's got issues he's not perfect but he is an awesome bot and I really really digs him glad I went for these uh, throttle bot combiners I did a mock up of the uh, gestalt but of course I've got an arm and a leg missing but uh, so far so good right moving along we is on to Friday the 24th of April and my monthly, uh, co uh, monthly toy hunt uh, around Coventry Oh, I think it's right here. Yeah, so I uh, went to Smith's Toys as usual and uh, was going up and down the toy art and bloody hell. Combiner Wars Wave Till still isn't out in the shops. What's going on? You know, doing my absolute heading about this. I reckon we ain't going to get Wave 2 in the shops. We, you know, Wave 3 is rolling out worldwide and I reckon we ain't going to get Wave 2. We're going to jump straight to Wave 3 and Wave 3, Wave 2 is going to miss us completely. And I'm getting so sick of watching other, pe other, other people review you know, the Wave 2 toys that they've bought online from Big Bad Toy Store or Kapow. And I can't buy it because I'm waiting for it to come out in the shops. Just, uh, just making me mad it is. Anyway. Some other bots that I'm looking for in store at the moment is Power Battler's Galvatron and I cannot find him anywhere. The only time I've ever seen him on the shelf 
and I wasn't buying bots at that time. It was like the last day of the month and I didn't want to buy any bots because it would have meant that the video that I'd posted up the night before, no, anyway. So I, I missed my one and only opportunity to buy him. And I keep going into Smiths and going through the Age of Extinction, you know, power battlers, and have they got him? No, no, no Galvatron. Lots of hounds, hounds is a shelf warmer. Lots of hounds, crosshairs, optimuses, loads. Bumblebees, Grimlocks, loads of them. But no, what's this? Uh, okay, so RID Wave 2 then. Mm, they didn't seem to have any of those in either, even though we have got RID Wave 2, because I've already bought a couple of them. And I was after uh, Legion Grimlock. So, I was looking at the Combiner Wars Wave 2s, and uh, currently the only one I've got is Dragstrip. And I don't want to go for Superion. I don't want to do the Aerial Bots. But there is one figure in the Aerial Bots line that I've been absolutely agonising over getting because I think he's a really cool looking bot and he's a unique character, brand new for the Combiner Wars line. I think you know who I'm talking about. I've passed over him, passed over him dozens of times in the shops over the last couple of months, but now I've finally plumped for him. Alpha Bravo. He's lovely. I love him, he's amazing. He's got such a such a great aesthetic. I mean the head sculpt, I mean this guy is so I mean that's that's Vortex head sculpt, isn't it? It just is. I like the transformation on this guy, you know, the build quality, the articulation. He's great, I love him. But I didn't want to get him for two re two reasons. One, I'm not doing the aerial bot, and two I'm more than likely going to be buying the re the repaints of this, both of them. That is, um, Blades and Vortex when the Combaticons come out. But he's a great mould and he's a brand new character. And I, I just wanted to get a version of this character because, you know, he's, he's brand new for the line. He's never been seen before. Brand new invention. So finally, I've plumped for him, so I've now got two Combiner Wars char uh, characters, two limb bots, but nothing to attach them to yet. Anyway, so I then went up to Toys R Us, looking on the shelves at Toys R Us. Again, couldn't find what I was looking for. I was looking for, you know, uh, robots in, dis in disguise, uh, one step steel jaw, couldn't see him. Did find Legion's Grimlock though, so I've actually got a Legion's Grimlock. Yet another Grimlock. Hmm. <laughs> you wait. Yeah, he's a great little bot. Um, it's quite small when you put him next to the other uh, R.I.D. Legions I've got so far, especially um, Sideswipe, who's like, <laughs> he's almost like one and a half times bigger than this guy. It's about the same size as uh, Steeljaw, but this guy's supposed to be bigger. Anyway, you know, he's got a nice, simple transformation, being a, a Legion bot. There you go. This, obviously the feet are uh, sort of around his neck area, and they're quite, you know, they're almost like bell bottoms. He looks like he's wearing a black flat jacket in dino mode, but he's all right. I quite like him. He's cool. Glad I bought him. So, then uh, it's a uh, couple of eBay items. I did have a, uh, oh, I have got a Kapow Toys pre-order waiting. That's uh, Toy World TWT04 Expressway, but he's been delayed for some reason. He should have come out with the others, but he didn't. So I don't know why he's been held back. So I'm just going to have to wait a little longer for him. Anyway, moving on to the uh, last few bots. Someone else you've seen because I've reviewed him now that he's arrived. It's Carbots Dandy! Hello Carbots Dandy. I had to get this. <laughs> he's just amazing. I mean, okay, I mean, he, he cost me... 
it was forty four ninety nine. Buy it now with free postage, and then I got a eleven pound forty customs hit on it, so it cost me you know fifty six pound thirty nine. But size of this thing is it's it, it's you know masterpiece scale, and even though he is lacking some you know more obvious articulation joints, like he could really do with some ankle tilts. And he could do with some bicep swivels, and he could do with a waist joint, and he could do with probably some swivels on his on his um, wrist swivels. But apart from that, he's a big bot. He's nice and colourful. He's well made. He's loaded with ratchets. And when you watch the cartoon show that these are based upon, Hello Carbots from Korea. Even though it's all in Korean, it's 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 a it's a blast to watch. It's good fun, and the characters are amazing. They're brilliant, and I intend fully intend to get some more characters from this line. As and when uh, funds allow. So we're almost at an end. One more bot to show you, and it arrived yesterday. I was a bit worried that uh, it wasn't going to arrive before the, the end of the month, because the uh, seller I bought it off uh, had not put it down as uh, dispatched on the, on the eBay thing. Anyway, this is a toy that I've wanted ever since I saw Mitch, Santo Mitch Santona's review on it. He did an awesome job of reviewing this toy, and I just wanted one. But I didn't want to pay too much money for it. You see them shelf warming in the shops, in Smiths and Toys R Us, like rows and rows and rows of them on the shelf. And the price is slowly, slowly dropping down. I mean, this this was a £100 toy when it first came out. And I think the lowest price I've seen it in the shops is £44.99. But I said to myself, I'm going to get one of these for under 30 quid. And I did. Got one off eBay, £25 buy it now with, I think it's a £4.80 shipping. I bet you Stu the Mighty Grimlock hasn't got one of these. Job and Stop Grimlock. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's not the biggest bot I own, and it's a one step changer. Oh. It's very simplistic. Um, in bot mode, he has got a little bit of uh, articulation. He's got, he's actually got um, a bicep swivel and a, a 90 degree bend ratcheted elbow. It, well, you can kind of bring his arm up, but it's it's on a spring loaded joint and it won't stay up. There's no movement in the legs at all. He's got the tail at the back, which can have either up or down, and then you've got the transformation handle. He has got lights and sounds. That's about all he does. And if you leave him for a bit, he'll start making a noise. But yeah, he, he came with his sword. Didn't come with the Optimus figure, but I'm not really bothered about that because it's just a stupid gimmick thing that doesn't transform. And this guy is so big, um, when I got him out, I had to put him in what I refer to as the big bot spot, which is a little singular shelf, which is next to my telly, underneath my main bot shelf. This guy only just fits in. He'd literally have to wedge him in there because he's he touching the top. I mean, look at this. As you can see, Grimlock only just fits in the big bot spot. He's like hard down on the shelf here and he's touching the, the top there. So he only just fits in. So yeah, I suppose you're gonna have to transform this since it's a one step, one step changer. Just give me a moment to make sure all the arms are in the right place.
There we go. Oh, <laughs> doesn't clip in very well. Come on, the end. There we go. So yeah, <laughs> well, this thing's ridiculous, but I don't know. I got one for under thirty quid, so I'm happy. That's enough of that. So yeah. <laughs> That has been my haul from this month. Um, not much, as you can see, only nine bots. Um, nine bots bought. Uh, I did manage to spend on that little lot, not including the ready control car and that little truck thing, £291.45. Which, compared to the previous months, is a drop in the ocean, but... <laughs> I haven't seen how much money, if any money, I've managed to save this last month. I mean, I think the radio control car at £129 put a stopper to that. But uh, next month I'm going to, again, keep a low profile, try not to buy too many bots. Yeah, so hopefully next month I'll have uh, a couple of things to show you. I mean, next month should be interesting because there's uh, quite a few things going on. Uh, CJ car boot sale starting up again. In fact, there's one this Sunday. Uh, is it Sunday the third? There is. There's a CJ which is at the uh, rugby club just outside Leamington. So I'll, I'll be going to that one as well. And I have picked up quite a few bots from there in the past. So that's starting up again. And then the following weekend uh, on Saturday the ninth, um, there's this uh, TFYTC Northern meet at Manchester. Um, I'm hoping to be able to attend. Depends if the uh, engineering works on the Metrolink or not, because I'll be up at Bury that weekend. I'm going to hopefully blow off work on the Saturday and uh, come down to Manchester. I think the meeting point is outside um, Primark at 11.30, which, if you look on the Metrolink, when it goes through this town centre, it's Market Street Station. So and it takes about 25 minutes from Bury to Market Street on the Metro, so I will be hopefully making an appearance. And then the following weekend, or the following week, there is uh, two toy fairs. There's a, a rugby evening one on, it's uh, Tuesday the 12th, and then on Sunday the 17th, not only is there CJ car boot sale and the Stonely car boot sale but there's also the uh, Coventry Toy Fair at the Sports Connection at Wrighton which I will also be going to. So next month is uh, quite a few bot buying opportunities for me. So there we go. That's it for this month. Um, I will see you again same time next month. Bye.